from the very early age of four or five, my father would play black and white. We had a 35 millimeter projector and a screen he would put up in our living room and he would play black and white silent films and one of them was Nosferatu with Max Schreck. I mean, let me tell you something, when you see that movie when you're five in black and white with him doing those crazy things with his eyes and his fingers, that, that, le that leaves an indelible impression. It doesn't go away. And so with this movie, I wanted to bring a, a little bit of my appreciation of the effect his performance had on me, that flavor, but also my father. My father, in his own right, was a, was a strong presence and uh, a very elegant man who spoke with a mid-Atlantic accent and possibly intelligent. He always knew he was the smartest man of any room he walked in, so I thought, well, he, that would be pretty good model for this character so I'm, I was playing with that and and then believe it or not I thought you know what let's let's open this up a little bit let's let's look at some of the great uh, female performances that I think might be applicable to this version of Dracula and for some reason because of this toxic relationship that Renfield and Dracula have in this movie I was thinking about the relationship that Anne Bancroft's character had with Dustin Hoffman in The Graduate, and so she, her voice started coming into my mind, which I'm very happy about. So we have some direct um, borrowing from, yes, he does. Don't you think he looks like the kind of guy who has to find him off? Yes, he does. <laughs>